p.m. Eastern Time, I do a live stream called Wire Lady TV, where I troubleshoot all kinds of ideas for wire art and wire jewelry. So for the past couple of months, I've been making rings. You can check out those videos uh, that I've already posted about the ring making. And today I'm finally going to tackle some pieces that Mustafa sent me. He sent me some pieces of resin. He made some finished jewelry and some also some pieces that I could make jewelry with. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to make some prong style rings and settings uh, using the resin pieces that Mustafa sent me. So hi Clarice, how are you? You're the first one on. So I will flip the screen as always and then I really have not prepared for this live stream at all. I'm not exactly sure what we'll uh, be making but I know I want to do the prong style. So we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to flip the screen and then I will pull you guys up on my computer. There's still snow outside in Montreal. Let's just flip this around. It's very bright out there. Let's pull this up a little bit. So these are the pieces that Mustafa made me, all the uh, resin pieces. I have yet to try resin. I haven't really experimented with it yet. And I'll just pull up the video on my computer so I can see your comments. If ever I miss your comments, just be sure to comment again and let me know. So hi, Peggy. And... Teresa, hi Teresa, hi Rita, hi Monica, hi Deb, and hi Amy, nice to see you guys, and Jerry, hi Jerry, and uh, so I'm doing great, so let's just get started, and these are the pieces that Mustafa sent me, hopefully he'll pop on the live stream at some point, I just want to make sure we're centered here, yeah, we're good, and uh, so these are some of these pieces, I guess he has a mold where he uh, pours the resin into the mold. It looks like he's colored this one blue, and there's some little speckles in there. This one has little gold speckles. And also, this piece, too, was made with resin. Hi, Mustafa. There you are. I'm just showing, uh, I'm just showing your pieces. So there we go. And Mustafa, you sent me these, but I'm not quite sure what those were for so you can let me know what those were for but I was thinking we could like remove the metal and do our own prong setting on this one so um those I believe were in the in the collection of things from you Mustafa these are all your pieces and then these I bought on Amazon these little uh, Schwarzky crystal hearts so I thought it'd be fun to make a ring with those uh, also so that's what we're working on today hi Lola and um, hi, Ray. Nice. A lot of new people on here today. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is I just thought I'd do a couple of like super quick sketches just to warm up a little bit. And then we'll just go for it. So Lola says, I love your tutorials. Thank you. And uh, yeah, pretty pieces, eh? Yeah, I hope I have fun. I hope I figure something out because I've never really made the prong setting. Actually, I have one style prong type setting that I did before. Remember the pendant I did where I did kind of like this type of thing to hold it in place? So I was thinking we could do something like that for a ring. But like say you probably would have to do some kind of base for the ring and then I was thinking to do something like that as well but maybe to like attach it with a wire like 24 gauge so that was one idea that I had and then um, other than that I think for the heart it could be cool just to do like a very simple one so you bring these wires around maybe two wires and then um, if you twist them together and then have one like oh I guess that would be like one up here and then just like two below to hold the heart. Let me, let's get another color for the heart. So that like a prong like that. So then you'd get a heart in there. So that would be one idea for a ring, like with the, with the heart, okay? Like that type of thing. That's an idea. And then the other idea for a, um, uh, this is also, a, this is a glass piece. So that's not resin, but that's, you could do the same idea with that. Oh, Mustafa, did you tell me what this was? Let me know Let me know what this is because um, you sent me this as well, but I don't believe you made that. So maybe that was for something specific. You might have told me, but I don't remember what it was. Hi, Ruth. Nice to see you. So then the other idea for a prong would just be like to bring three wires around. Okay, just three wires around. And I know people have made these before. I've never tried one, so I thought it'd be fun just to experiment. So then you, I guess you would like twist one of the wires around and then you could have these come around and maybe do like a little spiral or something around the outside to hold it and then you could you would have your piece like in there 
with the spirals on top. So these are some ideas. Let's just get started and try it. And uh, Amy says, my crazy baby brother's crazy about those pieces. They're real gemstones. Yes, they look like real gemstones, don't they? These are glass. And uh, so let's just try, let's just go for it and try something. So I think I'll start with this idea. Um, and so for that, I think I'm also going to need some 24 gauge wire to twist it around. So I'll get the 24 gauge wire as well. I have some 24. I'm going to use a tarnish resistant brass for this one. I have an 18 and I have a 20 and I have a 24 gauge. So let's see what we can do with that. Hi, Carolyn. So awesome. Yay. Okay, uh, May earrings, but they would look good as rings too. Okay, so you just sent these for, I guess, for me to experiment with. That's awesome. So let's try something. I am first going to do the base. And the base, I like to do the base with 18 gauge. Hopefully it's not going to be too big. So let's start with 18 gauge wire just for the base. And Zilren, I've done a couple of wire prong rings. Oh, cool, yeah, that's what I was worried about. The wire prong rings might be a little wonky to get them to sit properly. I believe there are tutorials on YouTube. I haven't really looked at any because I always like to put my own spin on things, so I don't like to have a preconceived notion of what I'm going to do. But you could definitely search wire prong rings on uh, YouTube and see what you could find. Cosmic Goddess. Simochi. Hello, hello. Yes, anything you'd like to make with it. Awesome. Thanks, Mustafa. So this is the um, 18 gauge wire. So I was thinking if we did like a little frame thing, maybe I'll stick with the smallish ones for now. So say we did do, this one's not super small. I'm thinking that the little ones might be too small. Let's try with a, this size one. Let's see what we're going to do with this. So I'm going to go ahead and just start to make a base for the ring. So what I need is my, oh, thank you so much, Clarice. So Clarice just sent the link to the Facebook group. So if you guys are wire art and jewelry makers, you can share your wire art and wire jewelry in our Facebook group, the wire art. Uh, it's called the Wire Makers Club. I changed the name a while back. So Clarice is a moderator in the group and she's also a moderator here in the chat. And um, she just shared the link to the Facebook group. And Mustafa is also a moderator here in the chat. So if you guys have any issues or problems, uh, they're here to watch the chat there. So now, Helena, hi Helena. So now I'm gonna turn this one around to make a bit of a base. And just see, this is tricky to pick up. Yeah, Amber won't be here today. She has uh, some appointments and stuff going on, so we won't see Amber, but usually Amber's on board as well, uh, helping out with the chat too. So actually, Amber's been doing me a huge favor. She's been putting timestamps on all of my live streams, and I super appreciate that because often in the live streams, we'll do many projects. And so now with the, with the timestamps, uh, you can go directly to the spot that you want to see in the video. So that's awesome. And uh, Carolyn says, cool. Thank you. And we're just going to do this here. So there's that. This, this wire's a little bit uh, tarnished, but that's okay. It's not, uh, I think it got scratched or something. Usually it's pretty good, but this one for some reason is a little bit scratched. And then maybe I'll, um, maybe I'll turn the, maybe I should turn the band around. I'm just trying to think, do I want to turn the band now? or after, mm. maybe I'll wait a minute. So now I'm gonna try a kind of that back and forth wrap. Ah, thank you, Mustafa. So Mustafa's just shared the link to Slack. So Slack is an app, I used to use Discord, but now I use Slack, and what it is is you can share pictures of your work if you're not on Facebook, or I also use it when um, I do the Let's Get Wired episodes, which are super fun, Let's Get Wired, our episodes where we all work on a project at the same time and then you guys can share pictures on Slack and I can show people here. So uh, so that's super fun. It's a nice way that you guys can be interactive on the live stream. So I'll be doing another Let's Get Wired soon. Let me know what kind of projects you might want to do on the next Let's Get Wired because that, that could be that would be really fun. So now I haven't really thought this out too much to see how well this might work. This piece might be a little thick. I might end up using a flatter piece, but we're going to see how it goes. So the idea now would be to take the pliers. Let's try the ends of these ones. If they're too big, I'll go for my smaller ones. And I'm just going to do a little back and forth thing for now because 
we could just go to back. I forget exactly how wide I did this before. Mm, might have to be a little bit wider. I'm just going to see. This might or might not work at all. I might have to try this one a couple of times because I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with it. That's what that's the thing with the live streams. There's a lot of like times uh, during the live stream that I'm just kind of troubleshooting and um, trying to figure things out. And sometimes things work and sometimes things don't work. So this is the idea is I'm trying to do a kind of prong setting that I did for the pendant, but whether it works or not, that's going to be the issue, the question. So you have a final exam. Okay, well, no worries that if you can't hang hang on. Yep. Oh, you're behind in the watercolor challenge. No, no problem at all. There's no deadline for the watercolor challenge. And if you guys are wondering what the watercolor challenge is, Hashi Mustafa, if you want to grab the link to the playlist of the watercolor challenge, that would be awesome uh, because I also have an art channel. And if you like to paint or do um, yeah, any kind of painting, I do a lot of watercolor, but I also do drawing and acrylic and all kinds of things. So right now we're having a 10 day watercolor challenge with every day it's a different project. And, um, and today was the last day, although I probably will do a bonus video uh, tonight. So stay tuned for that as well. And people have been making the most beautiful, beautiful paintings. It's really been great. I'm just so delighted with pe what people are making. Uh, Adarity's uh, shorts. Hello, hello. So now let me just see, uh, what did I do before? I think I just did this back and forth. Okay, back and forth. So what we do is we, these might not be long enough. So what I'm doing now is just like lifting this up like this. This is how I did the, um, the pendant, but I'm kind of thinking these aren't going to be big enough. So we're going to see, we're going to go up and down, up and down. So if it went like that, and then this one, I'm going to have to bring this one around again, around here. And sometimes I start these projects on the live stream and then I end up finishing them after. So we're going to see how it goes. So do you see how that looks? There's like a little bit of an edge there and see, this might pop out if I put it in here. I'm just going to see how that's going to work. And then the idea would be it goes around the thing like that, which could be interesting. So let's just bring this one around. Oh, maybe I have too many prongs now. So we're going to bring this one around. It's kind of cute though. Oh, I'm kind of liking this. So if we're going to bring this one around here and right around, it's actually really cool. But you know what I maybe should have done is just done the ring piece with this itself. That might have been better, but it's a little too late now. But say, let's just see how we're going to do it. Like, how would we attach it to here? This is the question. Is it possible to attach it to here or not? Might be good to have a base for it. And uh, maybe just attach these two together. Why don't we try that? Okay, let's just try to attach these two bits together. Um, I'm just, just let me think out loud here. Um, but um, but um, um, okay, bring it in there maybe. Yeah, maybe we could do that. So let's just bring this one. Uh, this one goes in here. And then this one too. Let's just bring that one in here. Looks interesting already. I don't know if it's going to turn out. But see, this goes in here and this goes in here. And then we want to attach these two in the middle. So let's do that. So, sorry I missed it using dead soft wire. This is the tarnish resistant brass. It's neither dead soft or half hard. It's The brass is actually more on the hard side, uh, but I wouldn't say it's half hard. I would say it was just sort of medium. The artistic wire isn't really indicated what it is. I usually use the tarnish resistant copper, but this is the this is the brass, which is a little harder than the tarnish resistant copper. So, uh, so yeah, I would say it's somewhere in between. So now what we're going to do is we'll just bend this one straight up. Okay, say, let's just, here, we're going to bend it over so it's kind of even with the other side. And then bend one side up here. And then this one, hi Gwen. Uh, da, 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 and then... There we go. So it's looking cool, eh, uh, Mustafa? I'm, I'm liking the design. And now we're going to just take this in and we just want to attach these two wires together. So what I'm going to do is just take this and bend this around here. And then I'm just going to give it a little tug to tighten it up. So we're going to just 
might have to hold that with pliers. It's not too bad. So I just gave that one a little tug and then we're going to clip it. And uh, what's the brand of the brass wire? So this is the artistic wire. I use mostly artistic wire, uh, tarnish resistant brass, but you can really use any wire you want with this. Um, I just use this for the sample. So now this is attached here and I'm going to bring this one down here. And then we're going to clip this one. And we're just going to push this one here. So now we have like what looks like a little daisy flower or something. The color of the wire makes it more beautiful. Yes, this, the brass is a lovely color. It just, it, it really is very, very nice. So now we have this already. It's sort of like almost all ready to pop a little, a little cabochon in. Uh, these could be longer. You can also like maybe bend these a little bit over so they're a little more curved. So let's just take these and just, it's a little hard with the brass, it's its a little stiff, but we can go around and just give these a wee little bend in. So they, they're gonna grip the stone a little bit better. So we're gonna just go around, bend this in a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much, just little gentle little bends so they curve in a little bit. So now, uh, what next? So now we're going to take this, I'll pop the cabochon in after, I think. I'm gonna just get this one going here. Um, if you need to remember what this looks like, grab a screenshot here. I don't know how to hold this here. Grab a screenshot so you remember what it looks like and, or just pause the video. And then now the idea, what I was thinking was to attach it to something like this, because unless, yeah, because this might pull apart as a ring, but it also might not. So in theory, you could probably put just a piece, that might be easier, because you could you could like wind it onto here, but it's gonna get really messy. So why don't we go an easy route, just for the sake of trying it, and I'm gonna like not do it on here, because that's gonna get, there's gonna be a lot of wire on there. So let's just take this, clip it, and get the ring cone. Very nice, thank you. Uh, so Lori, this is a 20 gauge and the band is going to be 18 gauge. And I was gonna do a full full on base for it and wind this on with another wire, but that would mean like three separate pieces of wire. So that's a little bit much. So let's just try it like this. If this is hard enough wire, it's gonna hold its shape. That's the idea. So let's just take this one, bend it up, and then we have to see where this would go in the whole scheme of things. I guess about there. And then we're gonna bend this one up. Okay, well, hopefully my hands are staying in the in the picture. And so those will go up and up. And then this one, we want to, wherever it's convenient, just put this one in here and then this one on the opposite side. Okay, we're just gonna go like that and that. Hopefully they're in a good enough place. And then let's just put this back on the ring cone. Okay, around here. And we're gonna bend this one over. If you're worried about this stretching, I guess we can always reinforce it. Let's just see what we can do. So if we just take, oh, oh now this one got, that's weird. That one got pushed up through that pedal, which is not was not intentional. So what I want to do is lift that and just stick it in here. And Rebecca, hi. Finally, I know how to make rings out of my rocks. Ooh, sweet. Well, let's, don't thank me too soon. Let's see if it's actually going to work. I do have some other uh, tutorials though for wrapping stones that uh, without holes that would work too. So see, I've just like bent this back on either side there. So that should be good. And then we're gonna take this one, give it a little tug so it's nice and tight there, and get your pliers, pinch it in a little bit, and then give it a little clip right in here. Ooh, I don't know where that went. Okay, and pinch that in place. And then this one, yeah, see if you're worried if it's gonna stretch, that's the problem. I don't think it's gonna stretch. I guess if you're worried it's gonna stretch, you could bring this wire around and tie it over here again, but I'm not sure it's necessary. 
So, yeah, if that wasn't a knot there, you could bring this over and put it... Hmm, let me just try something just to see how it's going to work because I'm a little worried this might bend, but it also might not bend. And do we actually want a line through there? Maybe. Okay, so let me just move this. I'm going to open it up a bit. I'm going to move this to another section. So I'm going to take this and open it up a little more. Okay, again, I'm going to open you. There we go. So I'm actually going to move this over one section. Okay, let's just really open it, really grab that and open it up. Okay, so I'm going to move this over to this section here because I, I feeling that it's not in the right position. So let's do that just because I want to be able to loop the, the wire elsewhere. So I'm just going to like bend that around, put it, put this one in here because I'm a little bit worried about the prong thing coming apart. So we're going to close that one in here and then this one I'm going to open up and just bring it over to the next section. Okay, just over here. So we've just moved it, we just rotated it a little bit. So now we're going to put it back on the ring cone and just bend this one back. And we just bent that one back here. I don't know if you can see. Uh, Zilron Ra Rosha says, I did a prong ring for a small diamond. Ooh, end up keeping it for myself. Cool, that's awesome. Yeah, this is fun because I've never tried this before. So as a ring, I did a prong, kind of sort of prong pendant thing before, but nothing like this. So now this is what I'm thinking is if you brought the wire across the ring here and then you just try to curve it a little bit maybe. Okay, let's just put it back on the ring cone. This is just to reinforce it. It actually might not be necessary. And then you can like pull this one in here. So if we're just going to bring it up here, you know what, this is This is just going to get in the way, I think, because that's going to cause a bump in the middle. So let's forget that. You never know until you try. I'm just going to skip that and just be sure you use a stiff enough wire for your middle part that it's going to hold its shape. Because otherwise, if you start fiddling around putting too much wire, it's not going to sit properly. So we're just going to do that and put it back on the ring cone and just like push that down a little bit. So now let's see if Mustafa's little piece is actually going to sit in there. So we're going to take that and stick it. Ooh, that's not actually bad, guys. It's pretty, pretty good. Um, we might have to push these ends in a little bit more. We could probably do that if we flip it upside down. Okay, and... Bring these ends in a little bit. You could also get a little uh, 24 gauge wire and wind these ends around a little bit. That would actually not be a bad idea. Why don't we do that instead of doing the other thing? So we could just take a little tiny wire and wind those ends together so that they're, they won't come apart. Let's try that. Looks cool without the stone too. You're right, Mustafa. It does look really cool without the stone. It's kind of funky. It looks like a flower. I like it. I think this design has a lot of potential. Thanks, Mustafa, for motivating me to use these pieces. Uh, perfect. Oh, thank you. Uh, resin is resin. The resin piece. Sorry. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So let's just take these pieces, these wires, and wind these together so they're, it's going to hold together because otherwise it might stretch out a shape. So we're just going to take a little wire, 24 gauge, and give this a little tug to pull these together a little bit. So if we do that and then this one, bring that one around. Okay. And then I don't know if there's a right or wrong way to do this. And then maybe this one here, because I don't want the wires overlapping too much or it's just going to be like too thick. So what if we just do that and then cut it so the end is not against the finger. And then this one too, we can just take this, bring these ends in a little bit. It seems like a lot of adjusting for one ring, but once you've got the design pat down pat, then it's easier to do more. And now my fingernail stuck in there. Oops. Okay. So now we're just going to take this one 
and wind it around here. So we're just trying to hold it all together with a separate wire so it won't pull apart. So that should be good. Just with a 24 gauge wire, I'm gonna do that. Green stone, ooh, that'd be cool. Very nice. I don't think Mustafa made any green stones, but I do have green glass downstairs, I think. Now this one got pushed over a little bit more. So we're gonna bring this one up and then just make sure that they're all like pushed together as much as you need around here. So we're just going to like get these in the position that you need. Try to make them somewhat even. And then we're gonna put it back on the ring cone and we'll try to pop that in there again. So we're gonna just bring that one. Might have to open these up a little bit more. Bring that one in. Maybe start with that side. I don't wanna ruin it. So there we go. Perfect, so that works. And then we just maybe have to adjust these around a little bit, but that works pretty well, guys. I kinda of like it. We could have made these a little more ornate, but it, it worked like it wiggle it does wiggle around a little bit but you could maybe adjust it a little bit but that's it actually works so Mustafa there's ring number one that's not too bad send you all sorts of different colors the next time oh thank you that's uh, I appreciate it Mustafa that's awesome it's fun to have a challenge so let's look at these and maybe what I'll do is I'm going to do one of the hearts next and then I'm going to uh, go back to Mustafa's pieces so for the heart I think I'll maybe keep it pretty delicate. So we're just gonna do two pieces of the 20 gauge wire. So uh, this is, okay, let's go back to the 20 gauge wire and we're just going to cut a couple of pieces. It's a cool design, eh, Mustafa? I, yeah, try it for sure with some of your resin pieces and let me know how you do because uh, it's pretty easy. And um, once you know the design, it's very easy to do. So uh, yeah, I'd had that thought because I'd made that pendant like that. So that works. So now let's get some 20 gauge wire and we'll just um, cut it in half and take these two pieces. They're about five inches long, I guess. Everybody always asks me the lengths of my wire. I don't always uh, measure them. Uh, do you not kind of push the push the the around the stone do you not kind of push the, the around the stone uh Gwen I'm not sure what you mean but you could definitely adjust it uh Lori says I'm so excited I teach jewelry design in middle schoolers oh that's so fun oh very fun oh this is perfect you're in the right place awesome I love teaching kids I do a lot of workshops at the local um art gallery and I used to teach in schools and I even did birthday parties with uh, making wire jewelry and crafts and different things. So I adore teaching kids. It's just so much fun. So now we're going to just take this one around here, open this up. And what I want to do for this ring is I'm going to bend two of these up here. And then I'm going to bend one more up like here so we have three uh which ones do i want to do hmm yeah i guess i'll do the middle one okay i hadn't thought about that so we're just going to take this one and bend it up so we have three wires bent up and then this is the third wire uh so mustafa says and also guys you can use any round thing with this design yes yeah any any round piece is good like i love these little um glass Ball, they're called nuggets from the stained glass store. These are awesome for jewelry too. So I'll definitely try with the glass nugget, nugget after. Carolyn says, looks great, thank you. So now this ring is ending up being a little bit bigger than planned, but I can always adjust it a little more if I want to. But I, I don't think it really super matters of the size because it's just to get the design. So, I mean, if you do want it smaller, just like bend this up at a different location. So just do that and hopefully it's not gonna break. So bring it to where you need to bend it. And then now just take one of the wires and bend it around. Actually, I think this will have to be in the seven size. So, and then just bend, yeah, bend one of these around, wires around. I just wanna make sure they stay lined up properly. So we're gonna bring that one around 
And then we want to make sure it goes all the way around. But I don't want it to be like too bulky. That's the that's the issue. You don't want it too bulky. So do I want to go around again? I could go around a little bit more because if you just end it there, it might come undone. So let's just do that. Clip that and pinch that one in. So now we've got two wires. One of them is used to attach all these three together. This is going to be a little bulky, but we're just going to try it. And then we want to spread these. So we're going to spread uh, one straight up and then the other two that way. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. And um, I guess you can, like, I don't, I'm gonna get my hammer. I don't know if it's gonna do any good whatsoever, but you could do that. Just let me get the, if I have a block here. Yeah, I do have a block. And we're gonna see what we can do with that. I don't use this a lot, but I really should use the hammer more, especially when doing rings. So Rainbow Obsidian, hello. Um, did did Heather ever end up doing a lighthouse? Oh no, I did not do a lighthouse. I will have to write that down. Okay, you probably asked me about two years ago, and sometimes I remember, sometimes I forget. So I'm gonna write that down. Rainbow Obsidian wants a lighthouse. So. I have not done that, so um, I will I'll get right on that. But if ever you are looking for a video on my channel, you can use the search bar to see what I've already done. So when Ruth says, I teach jewelry making at the conference center during the summer. That is so cool. I love that. So now let's see if it helps to like hammer that a bit. I don't ever hammer, but it actually will just help it like sit down a little more, but you don't want the wires to snap either. So there's that situation. And uh, oh, and by the way, guys, if you're wondering where I got these pliers, I just did a video about it. Amber found the source for pliers that are identical to these ones I bought 30 years ago that are no longer available. So if you want these pliers, you can now buy them in my Amazon affiliate shop. So I will link that up in the description of the video. And uh, Rainbow Ascidian says it's okay. I'm glad I didn't miss it. Yeah, no, you definitely didn't miss it. Maybe I could do a lighthouse next week. We're going to see. Uh, I'm, I'm really into rings this, these days. Now, this is weird. It's kind of wobbly. I'm not sure why it's doing that. But maybe we'll have to. Hmm. Yeah, that's, I didn't, this, see, sometimes things happen and you don't expect it. So this is wobbly. And I'm not sure why. But honestly, once you have the ring on, I guess it doesn't matter. So maybe I won't worry too much about that, as long as these hold their shape. And Clarice posted the link to the Wire Makers Club again. Thank you so much, Clarice. That's wonderful. So if you guys aren't already members, you can join the uh, Wire Makers Club. So let's just stick this on here so it doesn't wobble. We can always go in and reinforce that later if we have to. But what I want to do now is see how this would work. Whoa, this is going to be hard. So if we put this here, we want the ends to be bent up and then the one in the middle to be bent down. So let's see what we're going to do with that. So if we just take our round pliers and take this and go down here, and then these ones will have to go up, but let's just see how much they have to be bent. See, sometimes we think this is going to be easy and then in actuality it's not easy at all. I have new respect for people that make prong rings. So this one and then these ones here we want to bend them up a little bit. So if we do this one up here and then this one over here we want to get it somewhat even. So Let's just take this off for now. And Slack, thank you, Mustafa, for sharing the link to Slack. So if you guys don't have Facebook or if you want to participate in the Let's Get Wired uh, live stream episodes, uh, definitely join the Slack group as well. Used to be Discord, but we're not using Discord anymore. So now this, what's the issue here? So we just have to see if this is actually going to sit in here. The, the, the back of the heart isn't super flat. So that might be the issue. I'm not quite sure. We're going to see. And we're just going to bring this one up here. 
Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to work or not. And these don't seem to be in the right position either. They're like a little bit too, I think they have to come in a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna bend this back a bit. So we're just gonna bring this one a little bit more. And then these ones too, we're gonna bring them in a little bit more, a little bit more. And I think I'm gonna trim these because they're really getting in the way. So let's trim these out a little bit and try the heart again. Stick that one in here. This one might or might not work. So we're just gonna bring that one in here and see. I think this actually might need more than three prongs. It looks like it's gonna be problematic to get it to actually sit well with, with uh, three prongs. Maybe, maybe um, five would have been better. Yeah, I thought three would work, but let's just keep trying for a little bit. And if it doesn't work, we'll do the, we'll try to do the um, uh, five. So let's just see with that. Try it again. Oops, open these up a bit. Stick that one in here. And just keep trying with it. Cause I have a feeling this might or might not be solid enough that goes in here. These we're gonna have to bend a little bit more, I think. A little bit more. Yeah, it looks like, well, it's not horrible, but let's try to trim these like really, really much like that. Okay, we're gonna go like that. And then if it doesn't work, we will make another one. So we're gonna clip that, that one, and then that one, but what you would have to do is you would have to file those. See, it's kind of pretty. It's actually not too bad. Uh, this part though is quite wiggly. I guess you could go in and reinforce it. Although, like I said, once it's on, it's not bad. Uh, but I think what you would have to do is you'd have to, uh, let me see if I have my reamer thing. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna look in my cupboard for the wire reamer thing, if I have it. Uh, oh, here it is. So I have this to file the ends with. Uh, trouble with the um, this uh, wire is it's tarnish resistant, so there's a coating on it. So this, I, I wouldn't advise this, ring, this wire for rings. I would, if you're, I mean, it's okay for rings that you're just going to, wear for kids or whatever but if you're doing if you're selling rings i would use sterling silver um uh question oh um, Mar hi marissa anyone know where i could get actual authentic semi-precious beads for making rings yeah they're oh thank you for like loving my videos uh you can buy supplies on etsy but you would have to like really look at reviews and stuff um that's important when you're buying stones and and beads and things is just look at the reviews to make sure that they're authentic and uh also um for uh, there's a lot of jewelry like um uh, wholesalers and stuff that sell things like that you might be able to get i know for crystals i buy crystals from crystal dreams which is a store in montreal um they have stones and stuff so but i think they have a few beads i'm not sure but yeah just definitely look at reviews when you when you purchase things like that. So now I've just like softened the edges with the with the um, reamer. The other thing I was wondering is what if you like, if you hammered those ends, it might be interesting as well, but I don't think I have a proper hammer to do that. But now this this is slightly bothering me, the, um, the fact that it wiggles. I can try to reinforce it with a little bit of wire. I don't know if it's necessary, but I can try a little bit. Um, I love going to gem show. Oh, gem shows are fun too. And there are some in Montreal, the gem shows, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and try to reinforce this a little bit. So I'm just going to go in with the 24 gauge wire and wind it on either side of the bands, just because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and I don't want, want, um, these to wiggle. I mean, I'm not always a perfectionist, but I do like, you know, when I'm creating a design to make sure it's the best possible. Uh, so you guys can, you know, have a functional 
project to do type of thing. So this is an alternative to tighten it up a bit. Uh, you can do the same design with five prongs. We'll maybe do one after this with the five prongs. Um, so now, see, I've just wound it around. LOL, me too. Yeah, I I understand. It's just you, when you want to when you want to create something new and unique, you just want it to be the best possible. So um, it's a challenge, right? So it's more of a challenge than anything. Not necessarily because I'm a perfectionist in life, because I'm not. Uh, but I do like to uh, I do like a challenge, and I do like to succeed at challenges. So see, I just added a little wire on either side, so you won't even see it because it's underneath. But it just makes it a little bit more solid. So now let's see if we can get that stone in there. Okay, we got it in there, but how are we going to get it to actually stay and not pop out? That's the thing. So you definitely want to use a wire that's a little on the stronger side for this one. It's going to bend it a little bit. I guess maybe what we have to do is actually remove it and then try to bend it in without damaging the crystals. So let's just do that. Just These are the tweezer nose pliers. So I'm just going to slightly bend it in like that and that one too and then this one too just slightly bend it in there we go so that's not too bad it's a little on the fragile side but the fact that it even worked at all uh, I'm slightly blown away so there we go now there we go so that is Looks pretty good, guys. So there is our heart, simple heart prong ring. That's fun. So now let's do something else. I'm going to just keep these in a pot for my collection. I'm going to have a sip of water. Now, I bought most of my gemstones from 214 to 218 when nobody was wrapping. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I was wrapping stones in the 90s selling on the street, but um, I guess they come in and out of style. So now what I want to do is try another one, but let's do with the five. Let's do with the five. Um, uh, how do you say uh, pieces? Uh, five not pieces of wire, five prongs, I guess you would say. So let me just get a couple of pieces of wire. So we're going to cut this. Pretty, thank, thank you. Yeah, and those little hearts are so cute. I bought them on Etsy, actually. I'll find the shop and link it in the description below because um, it was an Etsy seller that I bought those from. So now we don't need these too long, guys. So maybe like six to eight inches. I'm not exactly sure. You really don't need them very long. So now we're going to cut three wires instead of uh, two because we want five prongs. So let's cut three pieces of wire. And Carolyn gives lots of nice emojis. I love that emoji. That's a fun one. My favorite emoji is the girl with her hands up in the air. I love that emoji. It's, it's my favorite. That and the poop emoji. Those are my two favorites. So now there is our three pieces of wire. Mustafa says, cute, thank you. So now we've got these three pieces of wire. Yeah, they're about six to eight inches. And we're going to do the same thing where we wrap them around the band. So just bring them around. I love the stepped ring mandrel because all the sections are uh, even in, in size. So that's cool. So we're gonna bend this one around. Uh, maybe a little more, remove this, and then bend it up. Make sure my hands stay in the screen. Bend that one up. And then we want to just see this. So this one, we're also going to bend these two up. I guess we'll leave the outside one open like that. And then we're going to put it on the ring cone. This one ended up being a little bigger. That's all right. And... So we want to line these two up here, that one and that one. And then we're going to take this one and wind it around. So what if we just did this? Okay. And then rather than like if I'm worried about it wiggling, which it is, I'm going to take this one and wind it around here. So let's just do that. Wind that one around here. 
and maybe that'll prevent that wiggling from happening. So we're just going to go around here. And you could even go a third time if you think it's going to wiggle. Caroline says, gorgeous. Thank you. So we're going to do this one around here. Perfect. So now we're going to, and after the live stream, I'm going to go and work on a bonus video for the 10 day watercolor challenge. Don't tell people in the challenge because it's a surprise. Although everybody probably knows now. So I told them I might do an extra video, but now I um, I definitely will because I'm having so much fun with it. So there, I just wound that around to tighten it up a little bit. It's a little asymmetrical, asymmetrical, that is not a word, but it holds in place nicely, so that's good. So now we have three bands, five strands, and hi, Lena. We're going to put this one back on here. <laughs> nice, Mustafa, the, the guy with the arms up. That's awesome, and the poop, my fave. So now we're going to take this, and we are going to, uh, let me just think. We want them evenly distributed. So we're going to take that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. So that's like the base for the um, ring. Maybe I'll just do this again. Hopefully I won't damage the ring. I'll get the hammer and just... Like it doesn't break the wire, it just like pushes it down a little bit so it's slightly more flat there. And now, what do we want to do? So let's just see what other pieces we have. Well, Mustafa has a huge piece there, but I might go for something a little bit, ooh, that's fun. No, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go for that one. I was gonna go for, I was gonna go for the blue glass, but I think, I'll do that with another one. I think I want the big one for this. So let's do that. Ziran uh, Rasha says, mine is tapered and I don't like it. Yes. So there is, I do have a link to this in the Amazon affiliate shop. Um, if you purchase anything from my Amazon affiliate shop, I do get a very tiny percentage, which helps me to pay for supplies for my tutorials and uh, also gives you guys the opportunity to buy some great uh, products that I've used and recommend. So that's that. Uh, and this step man, uh, wooden mandrel is in the, in the shop there. If you, I mean, honestly, if you could find it cheaper, go for it. Uh, not a big deal, but uh, definitely it's in the Amazon shop. So now we're going to take this and bring them up and up, 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 and up. So now we have a base for like what sort of like position these should be in. Let's, why don't we just check and make sure it's not too off centered. Looks pretty good. And then we're going to just put this one back here. And then what I thought would be nice for this would to do more of a spiral thing. But let's see, this wire is a, seems to be a little bit soft. You might want to go for, like for the bigger pieces, use 18 gauge, but it's not too bad. So what if we did like little spirals here? Let's just see. Let's just remove this one. And I think the easiest way is going to be, like usually I do my spirals on a cone, but to keep them somewhat consistent, I think I'm just going to cut these all to the same length. So let me get a ruler and see what we're going to do. So if we measure these about an inch might be too short, but it also might not be long, uh, might be too long. So let's um, maybe cut it to like, I don't know, one and an eighth. Let's just go around and cut these to one and an eighth inch. So this one, and this one, oh, these are flying. I'm gonna have to go clean up my floor after. And then this one. And one more. Yeah, I'll get my broom out after this. Okay, so now what we have to do is make some spirals with these. So, uh, like I said, I usually use the cone method, but I'm gonna do these with my round pliers 
these I think are going to be too long, but I can always clip them a little more. So if we're going to just wind this one around here and then just let's bring that one in a little, little bit more. Push that in and then just kind of bring them just slowly. Oh, they're actually maybe not long enough. Anyways, it's too late. So let's just keep going around and twisting these. So just like I start with this circle and then just slowly with a little flick of the wrist, you just bring these down. And we're just gonna keep working our way around. So keep in mind, I cut these to one and an eighth inch. And if you find it's too um, short, just cut them longer, but this this stone or this uh, resin piece is quite large, so maybe you'll get it. Maybe one and an eighth would be perfect for what you're doing, depending on what you're wrapping. So we're gonna bring this one around. I highly recommend going to a stained glass store to get some of their glass nuggets. Um, they're like the ones you buy uh, at the dollar store or home decor stores, but there's a lot more choice of color and sizes if you get them at a stained glass store. So. Um, so that's cool. And you could just buy them. You buy them by weight usually or by by size sometimes. Uh, they're like 20 cents for little ones or 30, 40 cents for the big ones. So now I've just done like the, the spirals here. So now let's just see about what. Yeah, they should have maybe been a little bit. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so now. Yeah, we can pull them down a little bit more maybe. Okay, so let's just pull them down a little bit more. Just a titch. And down. And a little down. And down. And down. So now what we can do is round these out a little bit. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this, but we can just kind of, maybe with the round pliers would be better. Uh, it's going to be hard to actually round them out, but just like maybe slight bends at the top, very slight bends to curve it in a little bit. And yeah, I don't know how practical these rings are, but it again looks super cool just as is. So we're just going to bring these ones in here. Okay, around here. And then we're going to slip this one in here. So, put this one right in here. Oh, and I think we have to push them in a little bit more maybe, so we can do that. We can just take this and tighten them up. Let's do that. So we're just gonna take this and tighten up the spirals a little bit more. Careful not to scratch the resin, although I think it's very resistant. So we're gonna bring this one down here too. This works well. If you just take the little circle and tighten it up a little bit, and this one too, just tighten it up. Whoops, I just scratched it a little bit, but there you go. Sometimes that can happen. But that looks pretty cool. So now we just have to maybe tighten, just adjust these a little bit if they're sticking out too much. And um, I'm thinking if you do want them to be stiffer, you might be able to remove this and hammer these some somehow. I'm not sure the best way to do that. Like if you guys have experience hammering wire, I imagine you can just remove it and do something like that. So now, cute ring, don't run your hand through your long hair though. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, they could definitely get caught in your hair, but it's Cute, and that piece, Mustafa, is super awesome. And if you want the spirals to show more, just like cut the wire longer and make them bigger. I'll push them towards the middle a little bit so we can see them a little more. Because the thing is, you wanna, you wanna see the piece, but you also wanna see the wire work. So yeah, see what you think, what you, how you like the look of it. But I definitely like this design. I think it's super cool. That resin piece is awesome, Musafa. It looks like a mood ring. So now, oops, there we go. There, so there's that one. That's super fun. I like it. It's pretty solid too. I mean, yeah, you wanna be careful it doesn't get caught in your hair, but definitely works. 
So now we've done three rings and hi Tish. Bravo, love it, yay. I, you've hammered before, cool, nice, nice. Yeah, hammering is great. So now we have all these pieces. Just taking a sip of water. Um, I've done all three things that I wanted to do, but maybe we can do something else. Maybe I should do something with this glass bobble because um, these these are very easy for you guys to to purchase these um, at the uh, at the stained glass store. But what I'm wondering is maybe I could do something. Let me just think for a minute because I like that idea of doing a base like a base here and then that would be the ring but then this for the ring let me just see okay because the other one I did I remember I did a I did a separate wire right yeah I did a separate wire so maybe there's a way that I can do oh there's another way you can do it where you like do like wires like that that's it that's what I should that's what I should try um so you have like wires like that but more so it doesn't go back and forth I think so we go yeah maybe we could try would that work we could try that um otherwise if you did like around here and if you do that around here and then like here and then sorry I'm just thinking out loud because I'm not quite sure how I want to do this. Um, hmm. We could wind that together. Or we could go this route where we go around here. I'm going to try a couple of things and just see how it goes. Uh, da, da, da. It's awesome. Thank you. I never draw my ideas. Oh, I love drawing my ideas. It it's, it's, um, helps the creative juices flow. Even if I don't end up uh, look, work fine um making something that matches the drawing uh I love the process I mean I adore drawing anyways so uh but yeah I find it helps connect the dots in my head so that's that's a good thing so now what if we tried that thing that idea I had before I don't know if it's going to work and then we just do a kind of a loop thing whoopsies just take the end of this and do a little loop and just see for the size, maybe a little smaller. Okay, so let's just bring this one in a little bit more. Might even need it smaller. Like I have a Sharpie size that might work. You're not good at drawing yet. Well, it doesn't have to look like anything. Um, it's just the idea to just to get your, your ideas. And often when I draw my designs for my regular wire work, the stuff that we, um, that we do for a living um i the work we do is pretty complex and the designs are are pretty integrate into in, in no intricate sorry uh, so often what i'll do is um i'll put uh, arrows on the drawing to know which way to bend the wire so that's useful uh now we're going to clip this this might end up being too small but i'm going to try this because that's what i was thinking before i could do something like this but this actually might or might not work. So what if we try the prong thing again and did, uh, I'm going to actually, you know, that's not going to work. So let me try, let me try this something else. Okay. So now, um, that's the 20, where's the 18? I'm going to try this one and see if this is going to work. Um, no, I wanted to try. Okay. <laughs> I'm confusing you guys. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, draw to get a rough idea exactly. Hi, Helen. First time on one of your lives. Yay. I'm from Nottingham, UK and love wire work. That is so cool. I've been to the UK many years ago. Uh, I went to see my sister there. She was staying in Ealing and working for Nortel back in the day. And so I did go to England a long time ago. That was fun. And so now I'm going to... Let me look at my sketch again. Okay, so this, I'm kind of starting to veer away from that idea because I don't think it's working so well. But what if we just tried to, I wonder how big these prongs should be if I did this. So what if we 
just take this. I'm just going to play with this for a while. Uh, oh, artistic wire. Yes. Uh, instead of making a prong, bring the wire up over the edge of the stone using two wires and make two wires around the stone. That's a good idea. I could do that. I could try that. Let's maybe try that after. And I think for now, what I'm going to try is, hmm, if I do this one, I'm just going to see, because the idea was to have this like around here like that. And what if we, hmm, yeah, would we have to do that first? I'm not sure. Let me just see. So if we do this and around there and around to there. So maybe I'm just going to try something for now and then we'll, and then we'll go from there. So this is the part where if you guys have to go to the washroom, make a coffee, get a drink, <laughs> go for it. Cause I'm just going to play around for a minute. And then we'll see what happens. So we're going to just do like a back and forth thing. We're going to do five of these and see what happens. Hopefully my hands are in. Uh, Tammy says, sorry, I'm late. No worries. Hello, hello. And we're going to just bring this one back and forth. There we go. Helen was the name of my grandmother. And uh, I had Helen and Muriel were my, grand my grandma's names. Now, this is already, like, not even, so, you know, it'd be nice to get it somewhat even. So, if we had, like, this type of thing, and then we spread it, let's see what's going to happen. Let's just see what's going to happen around here. This is kind of similar to the other ring, as it turns out. And so, what if I just bent this one out? Okay, we're going to bend this one out here. And this one, say this one comes in here. So this, it's kind of like the first one, but slightly different. So if we brought this one out here, and then we bent this one around. So we're going to bend this one around here to get it in place. So if we had like that, and then I think we don't even have to twist that around. Let's just try this and see. So if we're going to do like, or maybe we could take both wires around to make it a little thicker. That might work too. So we're going to bring this one here. And hi Celeste. Now there we go. We're going to bring this one across here and see how that looks so far. It looks a bit like a star. Don't know if that's going to do anything, but we may as well try it. And if not, we could have just done it the other way, like we did with the first one. But, oops, this is just a good opportunity to try different things. Now, these are kind of on top of each other. I'm not sure why, but sometimes it's hard to figure out why the wire is actually doing something. Because this one, we kind of want them beside each other, but that's okay. We'll bring this one around here. There, that's better. So now... Those are in place, and if we want to bend this around to make the band, might be a good idea to do it now. So let's take this one, bring this one around, and we're going to fix it on the other side. So let's just take this one and that one. Maybe we could do one on each side. That might be interesting. And so I will just take these and then bend them up like one here and one here maybe. And then we're gonna trim, trim these a bit so we'll be able to actually get them in there. And maybe I shouldn't have bent them so much. So let's just like take this out and let's just slide them in here. Okay, so we've got them in between these wires. Put it back on the ring cone here. And what we wanna do is Bend one on either side, I think, is going to be the best thing. So let me just put this one down. If I'm missing your comments, I will definitely check them after. So we're going to take this one, bend this one down here, put that one on this side. hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And then slipping around a little bit. And then this one on this side. So now we have one on either side, and then what we want to do is remove it. And then we're going to give that one a little tug just down here and then clip it. Uh, there we go. I do wire and beading, but lately more wire. Nice. So now 
we're going to whoop, get in there. If we can access it, did it cut? Uh, yep, it cut. So now, uh, wire weaving. Yeah, I do not do wire weaving. I've tried it a few times. I just find it um, very tedious. It definitely takes a lot of time. I can see how people might like it, but I, uh, yeah, I've never really got into wire weaving. Um, I think I tried a couple of projects and um, and gave up on it. I, I, I think I like more immediate satisfaction. And so for me, weaving is a very, very tedious process. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's beautiful, but just, just not for me. So now I'm going to clip that. And now we are going to... This is slipping a bit. I'm not quite sure why, but we're going to try to get it right in that intersection. Sorry if I'm holding this away from the camera because I can't, my eyesight is not as great as it used to be. So I'm having a little trouble seeing that. Clip that end. And then we're just going to try to, you want to pinch it in so it's flush. So we've got this one here and this one here in those two intersections. So this is sort of our base for the ring and we're going to see if we can do something with that. So I've not made rings like these. I'm looking for inspiration. Nice. There are definitely some um, tutorials, a few tutorials online for prong rings. I would I would recommend looking at them because some of them are done with wire, wire uh, weaving. Uh, so you'll probably get some, some really good ideas from that. So now let's just adjust these in a way that they're somewhat even. I think these ones have to be pushed together a little bit more. It's going to look somewhat like a star. Hopefully this isn't, isn't going to come apart. It should be okay. So this is what we've got so far. You could hammer it if you want to, but then the idea is how are we going to get this to stay on here? This might or might not work. So now let's get some round pliers. Thanks, Mustafa. Yeah, after the live stream, I will post pictures of the finished rings on Slack. It's just an app where you can share photos and stuff. I like it uh, because there's not like a lot of ads and stuff like on Facebook. And if you don't like Facebook and want to join that group, I'm not super active in it, but I do share photos after the live streams. And we do our Let's Get Wired episodes on Slack, which is super fun as well. So now we're going to bring this one around here. And hopefully this is more or less the right size for that piece. It ends up being a little bit on, I don't know, we're going to see. Let's just try to curve the ends a little more. I'm going to try to curve these ends a little more because they're a little too flat. So I'm going to just curve this out a little bit more here. And this one too, we'll just curve it out a little bit more. And this one too, here, and then this one. I didn't get to that one yet, so we'll go to around here. So that's the idea. You make like these little um, claws to hold it in place. I think I've made these too long. I should have measured them so you would know. Uh, Pamela, hello, I haven't seen you in a long time. Nice to see you. So yeah, see, so this snaps right in place, but I think it's, um. I think this glass bead is a little small. Let me see if I have a bigger one because I have some other pieces nearby that might be suitable. Yeah, here, I have some more in here. Let's see what I got. That one's a little bigger and that one's a little bigger. That one, I also cut grooves in the glass and can make little earrings with them. I like these little glass pieces, they're fun. I have white too. I have all different colors. So let's use one of those. Rather than um, scrap it, let's just use a bigger a bigger piece of glass. I'm going to grab a, a sip of water. And let us take this and see if we put this one in. Yeah, see that's much better. It's a good size. Uh, I'm just going to remove it for a sec though to um, adjust these a little bit. Okay, we're going to move those. Uh, I've, they're not quite even, so let's just try to even these out a little bit. We're going to bring this one around here maybe. I'm just going to try to make them a little bit more even if we can. Yeah, this is definitely 
a part, the part that takes a little bit of adjusting and troubleshooting to get them more or less the same size. You might also want to reinforce this bit in here so they're not going to come apart. You can always do what I did before and just wind a little wire around there. That would totally work as well. Just would be nice to get it a little bit more like even here. So this, this is what we have so far and we're just going to stick that glass piece in there and it's pretty good. I think we might have to just bring these pieces in a little bit and this because this is wiggling a little bit but that's okay. So we can you can do any adjustments you have like there's a little bit of space in there so we might have to adjust that one a bit. We can maybe do that with our round pliers. Let's just see. We're going to bring that. That also might be because the base this is coming out a little bit. So you can also, like I said, you can attach those bits at the bottom. That would be fine. Uh, the color of the wire makes me want to buy, bake pumpkin squares. Mmm, that sounds good. So not quite the season for pumpkin squares, but there's no rules about baking. So now we're going to just push these around. And that, I mean, it definitely works. It holds it in place. So there's another alternative that you can do with just that little base like that. So I'll show you what we've done so far. So we've did, did that one. And Tammy, something you want in heads once you start following so many people gets messy. Yes, yeah, that's the trouble with social media is there gets to be a lot of ads and stuff. So now these are the ones we've done. We've done. So which, tell me which ones you guys like the best. And um, I think that's going to be it for today. And then I will maybe try some other ones on my own and stuff. And if I post more pictures, I will show you. I'll post them um, in the community section and on uh, Slack. So let me know which is your favorite. And thank you, Clarice. Clarice just uh, shared the link to the Facebook group. So be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook if you're not already a member. Uh, just be sure when you join the group, you have to answer all of the entry questions to be admitted in the group, uh, agree to the group rules and answer all the questions. So that would be awesome. And I'm going to flip the screen. Love the purple heart. Nice. Oh, you're very welcome. So let me flip the screen. And I will say goodbye. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. Uh, thank you, Clarice and Mustafa, for moderating the chat. I really appreciate it. And um, now I can't see the comments because the sun is in my eyes. So maybe if I... Anyways, we're going to see what I could do here. So, Paula, I love the moonstone type with the spirals. Now, I love that one too, the moonstone one. That one's super fun as well. Yeah, yeah, that piece is gorgeous. Cream colored one. Ooh, Mustafa, your, your resin piece is popular. Yeah, it's so beautiful and so much fun, but I really have to experiment more with these. Uh, like I said, the molds are really lovely. Yeah, uh, be sure to uh, search YouTube for other prong style wire rings. And you'll see some that are a little more polished than these ones. These are like rough prototypes. And uh, if you're an artist, be sure to join my Heather Boyd art group and join the 10 day uh, watercolor challenge. Uh, today was the last day, but there's no deadline if you want to participate and join my art group. Uh, Purple Heart is nice too. Yeah, absolutely. So guys, I'm going to head off. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you the next time. Bye.